Stewart, Scott, y'all, it is straight electric in here tonight. The hizzy's all in a tizzy because it is championship night here on Stump the Schwab. We started with 78 contestants. Only three are left. This is the show that we've all been waiting for. $25,000 is on the line. Yo, people are getting serious, man. I was just backstage, and I saw Schwab getting his teeth whitened. I'm just saying, my man has got some daunting competition, though, tonight. Let's say what up to the folks trying to take the Schwab down. They gave him a run for his money in the regular season, but can they handle themselves when the stakes are raised to the level they're raised tonight? We're going to see. First up, he got all of his sports knowledge by staying inside when he was a kid because he's allergic to grass. Adam Garfield, I'm serious about that. He is a mechanical engineer from Ohio, and he stumped the Schwab the first time he was here, hoping to do it again. Nick Dimsky. And my man is a Tar Heel. Points are his thing, and he put up a whole lot of points in his Schwab showdowns. Let's see how he does tonight. Mike Wargo. But you know what? This thing is not called Stump the Mike or Stump the Nick or Stump the Adam or even Stump the Stewart. It's called Stump the Schwab. And now, it's time to meet the man himself. From St. John's University, the Bristol Bruiser, the brain behind the box score, the big eater at the worldwide leader, the Schwab! Ready to rumble tonight, big fella? I am ready to rumble. Yo, let's do this thing and get it started with leading off. All right, Mike, we're going to start with you. Since Hank Aaron got his 3,000th hit in 1970, since then, 16 other players have reached that milestone. Name them. Pete Rose. Correct. Nick. Paul Molitor. Correct. Adam. Wade Boggs. Correct. Schwab. George Brett. Correct. Mike. Dave Winfield. Correct. Nick. Tony Gwynn. Correct. Adam. Eddie Murray. Correct. Schwab. Cal Ripken Jr. Correct. Mike. Ricky Henderson. Correct. Nick. Rod Carew. Correct. Adam. Need an answer. Time's up. Out for this topic. Schwab. Willie Mays. Correct. Mike. Carl Yastrzemski. Correct. Nick. Need an answer. Nothing? Nothing. Out for this topic. Schwab. Robin Yount. Correct. Mike. Lou Brock. Correct. Schwab. We said yes. We said Ripken. Al Kaline? Correct. Mike. Roberto Clemente? Correct. And guess what? Yeah. 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 Let's take a look at the score. Schwab has five, Mike has six, Nick has three, and Adam has two. And just for sportsmanship, I saw Mike gave Schwab one of them little. All right, dog. <laughs> Nice run. The next topic in leading off. Nick, we're going to start with you. Since 1982, 16 golfers have won the senior PGA Championship. Since 1982, 16 golfers have won the senior PGA Championship. Name them. Jack Nicholas. Correct. Adam. Lee Trevino. Correct. Schwab. Arnold Palmer. Correct. Mike. Hale Irwin. Correct. Nick. Ray Floyd. Correct. Adam. Tom Watson. Correct. Schwab. Gary Player. Correct. Mike. 
Bruce Fleischer. Incorrect. Out for this topic. Nick. Curtis Strange. Incorrect. Out for this topic. Adam. Chichi Rodriguez. Correct. Schwab. Alan Doyle. Correct. Adam. Ben Crenshaw. Incorrect. Out for this topic. Schwab, you got any more? Fuzzy Zeller. Fuzzy did it. You got yourself a bonus point there, an extra point. Take a look at the scores. Schwab has nine. Mike has seven. Nick has five. And Adam has five. Gentlemen, crucial. This is the last leading off. Adam, we're going to start with you. 22 people have had their jerseys retired by the Boston Celtics. 22 people had their jerseys retired by the Celtics. Name them. Larry Bird. Correct. Schwab. Bill Russell. Correct. Mike. Bob Cousy. Correct. Nick. John Havlicek. Correct. Adam. Robert Parrish. Correct. Schwab. Red Auerbach. Correct. Mike. Kevin McHale. Correct. Nick. Need an answer, Nick. Cornbread Maxwell. Correct. Adam. Dave Cowens. Correct. Schwab. John Havlicek. Already said. Schwab, out for this topic. Mike. Dennis Johnson. Correct. Nick. Need an answer. Uh, Bob Pettit. Incorrect. Out for this topic. Adam. Tommy Heinsohn. Correct. Mike. Don Nelson. Correct. Adam. Casey Jones. Correct. Mike. Reggie Lewis. Correct. Adam. Greg Kite. Just kidding. <laughs> 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 you might be kidding, but you're out. Yeah. <laughs> Mike, uh, can you give us one more? Uh, Len Bias. No, no Len Bias. You guys said Casey Jones. Nobody said Sam Jones. Let's take a look at the scores. Schwab has 11. Mike has 12. Yo, Mike has more than the Schwab. <laughs> Nick has 7, and Adam has 10. Nick, we got to say goodbye, man. It all ends right here. But, yo, you did stump the Schwab once. You got 5,000 bucks in your pocket, big ups, but, you know, you got to go home. Schwabby does have some peanut brittle for you, though. It's in your dressing room on the way it's out. It's a nice parting gift. Mike, Adam, you guys through to the next round, but the battle is far from over. One of you guys is going to move on. One of you will move out. We're going to find out after the break. Just two. Stuart Scott in the house with Mike and Adam, and of course, the man standing between them and all the riches, the Secretary of Stat, the Pontiff of the Potato Chip, the Schwab. Guys, this is it. The winner of this next game will advance to the Schwab Showdown with 25 grand on the line. We're going to clear the scoreboard so you'll both start at zero for this one. It's time to find out if these guys know their coaches. We call this next game Coaching Ladder, and here's how you play. I'm going to give you a team and a coaching stat. First one to buzz in has to give the coach we're talking about. Now, if you answer incorrectly, your opponent gets a chance to steal. In the first round, each correct answer will move you up the ladder one rung. In the second round, correct answers move you up the ladder two rungs. But in the second round, if you are wrong, you drop down one rung. Whoever's furthest up the ladder wins. Gentlemen, it has never been more important than this. All right, let's climb the coaching ladder. The first question is, Syracuse basketball, 703 career victories. Mike. Jim Beheim. Correct. Next, Seattle Supersonics coached the team in the 1960s, 1970s, and 1980s. Adam. Lenny Wilkins. Correct. Next coach, Minnesota Twins 
follow Tom Kelly as manager? Adam. Ron Gardenhire. Correct. Next, Atlanta Thrashers, most wins in one season. Adam. Mark Crawford. Incorrect. Mike, buzz in if you can answer it. I don't know. So I want to help him out? Sure will. Correct answer is Bob Hartley. Adam leads two to one. Next coach, Hawaii football. Previously played for the school during the 1973 and 74 seasons. Adam. June Jones. Correct. One more coach in round one. Chicago Bears, most playoff appearances in the 1990s. Mike. Mike Dicka. Correct. Gentlemen, that is the end of the first round. Adam leads this thing three to two. A lot of drama, guys, because remember, in this round, correct answers move you up the rung two. But if you are wrong, look out below. You're going back down one rung. First question. Penn basketball led school to four NCAA tournament appearances in the 1990s. Mike. Fran Dunphy. Correct. You jump up two rungs. Minnesota Vikings, most losses in franchise history. Adam. Bud Grant. Correct. You jump up two. Adam leads five to four. Next coach. Texas Rangers, managed team during its last three seasons as the Washington Senators. Mike. Ted Williams. That is correct. Mike takes the lead six to five. These cats are flip-flopping the lead. Next, Miami Heat. First coach in franchise history. Adam. Kevin Lockerbie. Incorrect. You drop down one rung. Mike, buzz in if you can answer it. I'll pass. Schwab, help us out. Correct answer is Ron Rothstein. Mike leads six to four. Georgia football, most career coaching victories. Mike. Vince Dooley. Correct. Next, Pittsburgh Penguins. Only European coach in franchise history. Adam. Kevon Holinka. Correct. Mike leads eight to six. Gentlemen, two more. Kansas City Chiefs went 16 and 16 as head coach between Marty Schottenheimer and Dick Vermeil. Adam. Gunther Cunningham. Correct. Gentlemen, we're tied eight to eight. We have one more coaching ladder. How's you guys golf game? <laughs> Poor. Yeah. All right, guys, focus up. Here we go. The last coaching ladder. Tie score, 8-8. Eight to eight. Atlanta Braves. Entire career consisted of only one game, a loss in 1977. Adam for the win. Ted Turner. That is correct, Adam. Adam. Big ups, man. You made it. The last man standing. But it's not getting any easier. It is now you against the Schwab in the final showdown. The final Schwab showdown. Mike, you got close, man. But all second place gets you is a one-way ticket out. Grab a Schwabble head dial on the way out. We enjoyed having you. Coming up, it is the biggest, the baddest, and the toughest Schwab showdown of the season. Working hard for the money. 25000 at stake after the break. Nerves, tension, pressure, y'all. You can feel it in the research room as we get set for the ultimate Schwab showdown. This is a moment that we've been waiting for all season long. Adam, if you stump the Schwab, you win $25,000. It is time to make it happen. Tonight's categories, they are good in the sack. No, it's not that. It's all about NFL sack leaders. Simple as ABA. This is all about the American Basketball Association. Won't you be my teammate? Questions about teammates and going yard. Questions involving the long ball. Adam, young cousin, man, this is your chance to stump this man because you will pick the categories that Schwab has to answer. Schwab will pick the categories that you have to answer. And may the best man do his thing. Adam, pick your first category for the Schwab. Good in the sack. <laughs> Whatever you say, big man. For one point, Schwab, who led the NFL in sacks in the 2004 regular season with 16? 
Dwight Franey. Colts, big it up. One point for Schwab. First category for Adam. Simple as ABA, one. For one point, Adam. What former Harlem Globetrotter was named the ABA's first most valuable player in 1968? Connie Hawkins. You just guessing? I mean, are you wondering? Hmm. That is not a good guess if you're Schwab, because it is a correct answer. <laughs> One point for Adam. Pick a category for Schwab. Simple as ABA. Interesting strategy. Throwing a two-point question at him early. Schwab, who was the first commissioner of the ABA and is often credited with introducing the league's signature red, white, and blue ball. George Mikan. Former great center. Correct for two points. <laughs> Won't you be my teammate for one? For one point. Adam, in 2004, what two players became the first teammates in NFL history to each score four rushing touchdowns in the same game? I know it was the Chiefs, and it was the game where they creamed Atlanta. Ah, uh, it's Priest Holmes. Correct. And Derek Blaylock. Correct. <laughs> Schwab leads three to two. Pick a category for Schwab. Simple as ABA. Schwab, during the brief history of the ABA, two different teams called Minnesota home for one season each. Name them. I'm going to pass. Schwab has his pass, and he's going to pass it to Adam. You know I'm going to pass. You're going to pass it I'm back. I'm passing. Schwab, your answer. <sighs> Trying to think what teams moved. Oh, Buccaneers? No. Incorrect. The Minnesota Pipers oh. and the Minnesota Muskies. No, oh, I wouldn't have gotten that. Schwab, you lead, but you have one strike. Pick a category for Adam. Going yard one. For one point, Adam. Who was the last player to win home run crowns in both the National and American Leagues? Last player to win home run crowns in both the National and American Leagues. Frank Robinson. That is incorrect. The correct answer is Mark McGuire. Did it in the American League in 1996, did it in the National League in 98 and 99. Jeez. Schwab leads three to two. You each have one strike. You both use your passes. Game on, guys. Adam, pick a category for Schwab. Good in the sack. For two points, Schwab. Besides Michael Strahan, who is the only other active NFL player with more than 100 sacks? Simeon Rice. That is correct for two points. <laughs> Schwab leads five to two. Pick a category for Adam. Going yard two. For two points, Adam. In 2001, who tied the NL single season record for home runs by a pitcher with seven? 2001, tied the NL single season record for home runs by a pitcher with seven. Mike Hampton. That is correct for two points. <laughs> Get him up. Good in the sack three. For three points, Schwab. In 1990, Derek Thomas set the NFL record for most sacks in a game. How many sacks did Thomas have, and what quarterback did he repeatedly take down to set the record? Seven sacks? Correct. Oh, God. Chris Miller. Incorrect, Schwab. 
The answer is Dave Craig. That is your second strike of the game. Schwab showdown is thick with drama. Pick a category for Adam. Won't you be my teammate, too? For two points, Adam. In 2001, what two Milwaukee Brewers became the first teammates to each hit three home runs in the same game? 2001, what two Milwaukee Brewer teammates became the first teammates to each hit three home runs in the same game? Jeff Jenkins. Incorrect. The correct answer is Jeremy Burnitz and Richie Sexton. Schwab leads five to four. One point game, two strikes each, no passes left. Pick a category for Schwab. Won't you be my teammate? For three points, Schwab. In 2002, what two defensemen became the first NHL teammates to finish first and second in Norris Trophy voting for the same season? Can you repeat the Now, before please? you answer, the score is five to four. Mm -hmm. If you get this right, you win. There's no way mathematically for Adam to win. If you lose and miss it, he stumps to Schwab. That's how big this is. I'll read it again. In 2002, what two defensemen became the first NHL teammates to finish first and second in Norris Trophy voting for the same season? Nicholas Lidstrom. Correct. Chris Chelios. Correct. 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 Adam, my man. Woo. That's one heck of a fight you put up. But the Schwab takes this thing Great by Great one game. point. Schwabi reigns supreme. There you go. That scared me. Adam, no, you are not leaving empty-handed. Not at all. We got a nice ticket package for you. Tickets to the ESPYs included in July. I'll see you there. And a nice bronze Schwabble head dial for you. Okay, it's not bronze, it's gold. Schwabby, this Great is your game, biggest win yet, man. So, yo, what's in store for you now, Schwabby? R&R, &R, baby, R&R. &R. Rest oh, and relaxation, man. huh? Matter of fact, it's time to get out of here. Here comes my ride. You ride? <laughs>